Hey, so what is going on everyone? It is me, Mr. Mario, and today I'm going to be showing you specifically on my Nexus 6, but for any phone that is similar to this, how you can disable forced encryption when updating or through a ROM itself. So first off, if your phone is already encrypted, like the system IMG or the user data is already software encrypted, uh, this is not going to unencrypt those. So you will have to wipe your phone and then start over. However, this is if you are flashing with a boot.img file and you know you're just uh, fat flashing all the individual parts of the image itself uh, so with that you're gonna need two things first off with my Nexus 6 as I said I'm gonna be using this here uh, you're going to need to get the factory image file so I'm just gonna go ahead and work on extracting this here and you're also going to need a program named Android image kitchen now I'm using Windows uh, there are other platforms you can do this with I'm doing this on Windows here so I'm gonna also extract Android image kitchen and finally I'd also recommend using notepad plus plus you could also use regular notepad if you want to uh, but notepad plus plus will make everything a lot easier uh, so what you want to do is go ahead go into your image and right here you're going to have this image as well too just make sure you fully extract everything now once this is extracted you want to find the boots.img file you want to go ahead copy that go over to Android image kitchen and paste it in there and what you want to do is you want to take this IMG file or the image file and drag and drop it into unpack image .bat. Once that's done, you can press any key to continue. Now this is what you need to do. You need to go into your RAM disk folder, the one that was just created, and you need to find this file right here. Now this might change depending on what exactly it is, but uh, since this is a Nexus 6, it is fstab.shamu. Shamu is the model of the phone. You wanna right click that and go ahead and edit it. I'm gonna edit it again with Notepad++. Now what you want to do is in this file you want to look for force encrypt. Uh, if you can't find it you just want to do control F and look for force encrypt and you're going to find it right there. There should only be one in the file and since this says force encrypt that means when the phone boots up right now with this flashed over it will begin encrypting your user data in case it has not been already encrypted. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and delete this just that word and you want to change it to encryptable once you change it to that you can go ahead and save the changes and exit out of this now once you go back to Android image kitchen you want to run this which is repack image bat once that's done you can press any key to continue and you're going to have this new file right here called image new dot image now what I normally do to differentiate these is I normally click on this and I rename it to boot underscore and then I will put in the exact build it is so build number and just call it that so you're able to differentiate as you can see right here I have three different builds that I have created here or repackaged that are all no force encrypt builds or unencrypted builds so all you have to do once you do that this isn't going to show you how to flash the phone as hopefully you know how to do that if not you can find it online but when you're updating or reflashing your phone you can just go ahead go and grab this file to represent the boots.image file and flash that over when you're flashing over the boot anyways this is Mr. Mario signing off thank you all for watching everyone Everyone. hope this video helped you all out